Hi and welcome to another episode of 10 Ghosts of England. Today we look at the county of Cumbria. Number 1. Lady in Brown At the Fox and Pheasant Inn, located on Armathwaite, a former landlady and her friend witnessed a lady in old-fashioned brown clothing walk through the main door that was closed at the time. The Lady in Brown is believed to be linked to a woman that lost her children in the area due to a coach accident. Number 2. May Mari Askerton Castle is home to the spirit of May Mari, believed to have been killed by a former lover, she now takes her revenge by jumping out on passing horse riders, startling the rider on horse. There is a report that she once had a conversation with one of the riders. Number 3. Emma A young maiden known as Emma that sat by the water's edge every day waiting for her true love to return. She is reported to haunt the area of Aura Falls. One day while waiting, she fell asleep and had an accident that led to her drowning in the lake. Number 4. Mysterious Shadows During World War II, the Gill House in Aspitria was being used by the Women's Land Army. During their stay, many of the women reported seeing strange shadows about the building, some hearing odd noises and even one lady reported feeling a strangling feeling around her neck. Number 5. Whitfield An infamous highwayman that was caught and hanged for his crimes can be heard crying for help in the area of Barrack Hill near Carlisle. The belief is that when he was hanged, the rope was not quite tight enough, so he didn't die straight away. A few days later, a passing coachman heard his moans and cries for help. To end the suffering, the coachman shot the highwayman dead. Number 6. Vanishing Man a father and daughter, whilst travelling down Clive Street in Barrow in Furness on a dark night, saw a man crossing the road in front of them. The driver slowed down so that the man could cross the road, only for the man to disappear before reaching the other side. The daughter, shocked and scared, called out, Stop the car, Dad, that man just disappeared. The father stopped the car and got out, but couldn't find the man anywhere. Number 7. Woman in White at Carlisle Castle, a phantom woman in white has been seen for nearly 200 years. A report of a soldier on guard duty approached the woman, only for her to fade away right in front of him. It is believed that he died of shock several hours later. The woman in white is thought to be linked to a body that was found in 1835 that was bricked up inside the castle walls. Number 8. Spirit in the Tunnel there is a secret tunnel that connects the Friars Tavern and the Cathedral in Carlisle. It is believed to be haunted by a spirit that wanders the passageway back and forth between the two buildings. Strange noises and knocks have been heard throughout the tunnel. Parts of the passageway have been blocked up, but the noises seem to pass through as though they weren't even there. Number 9. Grey Lady At Lawton Hull in Cockermouth, a spirit of a lady in grey clothing is reported to haunt the building. On many occasions, witnesses hearing the rustling sound of her dress in the early hours of the morning. Some witnesses seeing passing glances of her. She is believed to be called Elizabeth, the daughter of the Bragg family that used to live there. And finally, number 10. Crying Child A family in a house in Carlisle were haunted by the sounds of a crying child that could be heard throughout the building, mainly at night. Things would get even stranger as objects would move all by themselves and often fly across the rooms. It is reported that the activity was so bad that the family left the house and that a vicar was brought in to examine the property. That's it for this 10 list. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.